Well, I've got a cool project today, people. These 110 millimeter wheels from eBay seller Titan Skater. 87 hardness, 110 millimeter are going to be going on my Razer A4 Pro. Look at that. I've been thinking about this for a while and the more that I scoot, the more that I want a longer coast, a longer cruise on every kick and I'm just going to go for it. From what I've read, this is not recommended to put these on here because they're not supposed to fit. Well, according to my measurements, if I raise this brake, which I'll do through this Allen key, and then remove you see that black plastic cap up in here? And that should give me just a couple millimeters clearance to do this. That'll be really cool to get these on this scooter. I've got my ABEX 7 bearings from my old wheels here, my spacers, so I'm going to use those on my new ones. Um, all you do is you take your Allen key and you just put it in there. And you turn it. Don't don't bend them, but turn it like you're opening a can of paint almost. Put your Allen key in there and just go around till they come out. Put the clean side back in towards the middle, just like this. Pop that in. Put your spacer back in. Always make sure I put my clean side facing in, you know, no dust, no grime. Press it in. Get your Allen key. Get your spacer centered. It's all good. There's your wheel. Rolls real nice. ABEX 7, baby. I just put in this front wheel without taking out the black plastic cap. And it's just touching there. See that? How it's just touching that black plastic cap? So I've got to remove that. Man, that plastic cap here was really tenacious. I tried pulling it out with a pair of pliers, but it just it wasn't coming out, so I cut this the cap that was on top there, I cut it off with my knife. And uh, I'm going to see if that's enough clearance. Just give you an idea there. Check it out. Front wheel. The back wheel. The problem here is that black piece of plastic is running up against the wheel. Now the brake, I'm going to be able to adjust higher. Right now it's hitting the wheel. What the black plastic piece does here is it supposedly prevents dirt from getting up in there in the, in the brake spring. But that's still really gunked up with dirt, but I guess it's supposed to minimize that. So what I'm going to do here is I just took off this black plastic piece. I'm just going to cut away in here to accommodate the wheel. All right, we got it. Cut away that black piece, plastic. The wheel's spinning freely. I did have to raise my brake a considerable amount here. So much that there is probably a millimeter of space. <laughs> There's not much space at all, but you know what? I've got the wheel there, it's rolling, it's free spinning. I've got two 110 millimeter wheels on my Razer A4 Pro. And I'm going to go take it for a test drive. Rolls great. There she is. My initial impressions, taking it out on the road. Um, I notice I'm standing up a little higher, you know, after using 100 mil, 
100 millimeter for so long, you definitely notice that you're standing up a little higher on the deck and it does also roll better. There's no question about it that I'm getting more roll for my push. Am I glad I did it? Heck yeah. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you're upgrading to 110s on the Razor Pro A4.